Thank you for coming. My name is Ross McCormack and we are Team Resense. We consist of two electrical and electronic engineering students, myself and Neil Heron, as well as two medical students, Grace McElliott and Paddy Walsh. So our project, our project was to develop the Reboa, the Reboa technique so that it can be used without x-ray validation, that it can be used regardless of patient anatomy and it can be used in emergency situations. What is Reboa? Reboa stands for Resuscitative Endovascular Balloon Occlusion of the Aorta and is used in the treatment of non-compressible torso hemorrhage, also known as NCTH. This is an injury that occurs when a patient experiences severe trauma to the pelvic, torso or abdominal region. How is, how is, how is Reboa done? This is a catheter. This catheter includes a guide wire, a balloon lumen, as well as an arterial line lumen and is inserted into the femoral artery and threaded up through the aorta. Once there, um, an X-ray is used to validate the balloon position, and once, the, uh, once it is validated that the balloon is above the rupture, the balloon is inflated. This is preserving blood flow to the patient's brain, keeping the patient alive for as long as possible. This is a, this is a product from our main competitor, Pritime Medical. This device is called EOR Reboa, and as I mentioned, it includes a guide wire, uh, a balloon lumen, and an arterial line lumen. I'd like to mention the P-tip at the end. This is at the tip on the end of the guide wire, which is curved. This is to prevent migration into branched vessels, as well as aiding in the positioning of the catheter. The arterial line lumen, as well, is used to monitor the patient's blood pressure during the procedure. Is there a clinical need for our device? If I was to ask you what is the leading cause of mortality following trauma from either civilians or military personnel, the answer would be non-compressible torso hemorrhage, and it is particularly lethal in um, pre-hospital settings. We came across a study conducted in the UK between 2002 to 2012 where 296 patients were diagnosed with non-compressible torso hemorrhage. Of these 296, 222 patients died before they could reach the hospital. We believe there is a clear clinical need for our device. This is our solution. We are taking a pre-existing Reboa catheter, we are replacing an extremely small pressure sensor between the P-tip and the balloon. The idea behind this is that the pressure sensor will monitor the internal blood pressure within the aorta of the patient. It, it, there would be a significant difference between the blood pressure of the patient above the rupture and below the rupture. So the idea is that as the catheter is inserting, and inserting up, to, uh, up, up the aorta, uh, once the pressure sensor reaches above the rupture, there will be a significant increase in blood pressure, indicating the location of the rupture. Once we get, receive this signal, we will use the guide wire to insert the catheter a further two to three centimeters. This is to ensure that no further damage is done to the rupture. The commercial opportunity of our product. We found that of all trauma patients, that 1.13% of them are diagnosed with NCTH. Using extrapolating this data and placing it in countries such as the US, Japan, Canada, and countries in Europe, we estimated that our total addressable market is nearly $30 million. Using figures that our, our, uh, our main competitors, Pride Time Medical, have recorded, we estimate that the service, uh, service addressable market is nearly $5.5 million. We value our product nearly at we value our product at two thousand ninety five dollars. This includes the manufacturing of the catheter as well as purchasing the, uh, the built in sensor. Our home market that we wish to enter is the twenty seven trauma centers located in the u k they are estimated that as thirty patients thirty patients per year are diagnosed with NCTH. so using this we have a service obtainable market in the u k of nearly sixty two thousand pounds per year. When we look at the U U US market, there are 38 trauma centers that Pride Medical are not reaching with their device. We estimated that this is nearly 2,319 patients that we would be able to reach with our product Resense. This is, would give us a service, a service obtainable market of nearly $5 million. The classification. In the EU, our device would be as a class three device, as it is described as a high risk device. We will need to produce clinical data as well as notifying the, the notified body within whatever country we wish to pay for. The estimated time is between 12 to 18 months for this process. In the US, we, our device is substantially equivalent to that of our, our main competitor's Pride Time, and therefore it will be a class two device. This will only need a 510k submission to the FDA and will not require clinical data. The estimated time approval for this is between 18 to 30 months. We found during our research that there are two, patient, uh, two patents uh, held for Reboa catheters, one by our main competitors, Pride Time Medical, as well as Stryker Cooperation. However, none of these uh, patents include our innovative step of using a built-in pressure sensor to monitor the internal blood pressure to locate the location of the rupture. In summary, we showed you our device and why we believe we'll be able to de decrease the mortality rate of patients in pre-hospital settings. 
We showed you our competitor and that we understand their device as well as their market. We showed you our product and we, why we believe it is unique and would perform better than any other uh, products on the market. We also show you the, uh, the commercial opportunities such as in the US, in the UK as well as the EU. Thank you very much.